Slight delay from both their sides, that's okay. I think iBooba has a pretty big delay, but we'll go ahead and restart here. I think he's probably already started? No. started late because he is go we'll let it go just a little bit all right anyways i booba's discord crashed so he did not get the countdown right away he's gonna be he's gonna take a 20 second penalty very unfortunate for booba not for proa this is going to be pretty good for him yeah let's get some sound here there we go all right we are off a little bit of discord crash while these guys are in these levels making their way through, we have two points that you can acquire in World 1. That is the frame perfect jump out of the Hammer Brother battle and staying in the duck form on the entire airship. You want to stay in the entire, you want to stay ducking the entire time. All right, iBooba is slowly catching up with speed, P Speed Strats. And it looks like Proa is doing his comfortable World 1 strats. We've seen him do it before, and he won his race before. So what does that tell you, right? What does that tell you? It's, it tells you that it's all about comfort when it comes to these things. All about comfort. He gets through nicely, and he's out of there. He's done all the levels in World 1. He's going to be the first person attempting. The first person attempting the frame perfect jump. Does not get the fire flower. Let's see what he gets here. Does not get the frame perfect jump, but that's okay. It might actually be two or three frames, but we call it the frame perfect jump because that's just kind of like, that's just kind of how it goes, right? That's just kind of how it goes. And he is the first on the airship. Booba definitely catching up, not getting the frame perfect jump there, unfortunately. And he's going to be on his way as well. He does not have fire flower. So he's going to be to the duck jump masters. Let's see how this goes. Pro is first. He is not going to go for it. He's not going to go for that two point swing. This could be a very good chance for Booba. But we did see Proa win his last race without doing the duck jump. So he should be all right in this situation. But I, Booba is definitely going to go for it. So we're going to keep our eyes on Booba's side here. All right, looks like he's doing pretty good here. He's getting his jumps. You guys got your Sodi Pops, right? Your beers, your Sodi Pops, your waters, your beverage. You got your popcorns, whatever it is. All right, Pro's gonna be the first. He's got his Fire Flower. Three shots, five shots, six shots, seven, eight, nine, ten, and he's good to go. Booba has definitely been practicing. He is on his way right now. And he is in there. He does get the two points right there. And that is a two-point swing. Oh, it takes damage right away. That's going to cost him some time in World 2. Proa is in a better situation than he thought. Alright, Pro's gonna be the first to enter World 2. Things are going to be heating up right here. Does not go for the peace speed strategy, but as long as he keeps his Fire Flower, he should be pretty good. He should be good. He'll be able to Fire Flower the Boom Boom, and that will be a time save over Booba. Well, let's see how Booba deals with this without Fire Flower. Looks like he's gonna go for the peace speed strategy. Just catching up. 
just inching his way. Pro getting movement of two. Always a movement of two, guys, after the first level in World 2. Right on. Right on, looking good. Pro a little nervous here. A little bit of turnbacks, but he does make it through. Ibuba's catching up slowly. He's going to use that hill speed to keep that momentum, and he's going to be on his way. Now, Ibuba's going a little bit faster, not being as safe, so we could see more mistakes on Booba's side, right? If Proa is going to be going slower and going to be going for some of these points, he might be able to guarantee that he doesn't die, doesn't get punished, he gets through, 57 minutes, you know what I mean? Got, got a bunch of points, right? So it's very exciting to see the difference here. Proa is definitely... A top-notch SMB3 player, more on the randomizer side. He's more of a randomizer player, but that doesn't mean he can't compete in the points because there's lots of things that can be done. And Ibuba, however, is definitely one of the higher-ranked warpless runners out there. I think he's got a PB of 52. Meanwhile, I think Proa has a 55 or a 54. So in terms of time, there's a big difference. That's why it's awesome to see that Proa is still ahead after all this time. Booba is definitely catching up. Pro is going to have to do a couple P-Speed strategies here and there to feel safe. He does fall off the wooden plank, but he did do half the level with P-Speed, so he is alright. As long as he doesn't take damage, he gets up and he knocks the turtle shells. We did see Pro, he does wait a little bit longer here, so we could see a clutch strat on uh, Booba's side get the lead here. And there he goes, he is down and in the pipe. So this looks like this race is going to be fast versus points, right? This is, um, we've been waiting to see one of these races, both runners getting a flower as their first card. That is amazing. If you can get rid of that point early in the game, this could be big. This could be really big, right? Classic case of fast versus points. Are we going to get that turtle shell? Gonna wait for the sun. Boom! And he does the side hit. They both get the sun. Just like that. Do they get the star? Get the star! They get- Oh! Booba gets two flowers! That is not good for Booba, man. Especially if he gets a fanfare. That's gonna mess up a lot of stuff. Pro, it does not want to get peace speed in 4-2. Very scary level. Gets hit by the boomerang, but he's alright. Oh, almost gets hit. He's gonna grab this extra power up here to be safe. Nice, and he is out of there. And does he get a mushroom? Oh, he doesn't get a mushroom. The side, the side grab flubbed him. That's okay though. That's okay. It turns out he is actually did lose the time lead there. We knew it was gonna happen. It was coming up. That's okay. He's gonna get the hammer. He's gonna go back to the mushroom house. So Ibuba has a longer way to go back. Or Proa does not. Unless Proa get if Proa gets a music box here, then he doesn't have to go back to the mushroom house. Ibuba's gonna enter the pyramid first, and Proa is going to go for the mushroom house. Alright. No flowers from each yet. Oh! Proa does get the flower! Right on. Right on, dude. He does get it, man. He gets that flower. He's right in there. Ah, take a sip of my soda pop. Love these races. All right, I booba. What's going on here? What is happening right here? Hmm. Perplexed. I think what's happening... I think Ibuba grabbed that... Why did he do that? 
He would need he would need to do three extra levels if he if he wanted to get the extra one up, right? He would need to do three extra levels. Very interesting. No, no, he intentionally went back to do that extra level. Very curious. Right? You... It's not like you beat Warpless with two cards, right, as you go to Bowser's Castle. You have no cards. So he would have to do three extra levels if he wanted that extra life. Which means that would be desperately and drastically a whole heck of a lot slower. Very curious. Alright, both gonna go for the stomp kill, so we didn't manipulate any RNG for any fire kills. Hmm. Hmm. I am very interested. Neither runner got all movements of two. So I can we can go with that. Very, very interesting. Alright. Alright, well, we'll find out later. Hopefully he doesn't get a star here. Maybe that's what he wants. A fan, One fanfare and then he's good. He doesn't have to worry or something. I don't think so, though. Five lives. Not the amount of lives that you want. Here they go. Both runners in 3-1 right now. One of the boring levels. Right, all you do is swim, jump up top, run forward, jump, take another dip, and get out of there. Very clean water in this game, though. Look at it. Uh -huh. Gets a mushroom. Pro it does get a star. Pro has got a very, very nice chance. All right, if I boob his P-Speed strategy do not work out, Pro might be able to get a chance to take the lead here. Let's see. He does get the P-Speed. Does it work out, though? Getting it, it's tough, and then keeping it is even harder. And just like that, he's in the drink. Gotta take the elevator. Both runners have made it. Very nice. And just like that... Ooh, he gets the flower, and... Oh, another flower on Pro's side. Dang, man. Getting close. Well, Pro knows how to get those flowers, so... I guess it's only a matter of time. Alright, here we go on iBooba's side. Doing P-Speed strategies. Definitely going to be able to take the lead on this one. Proa also doing P-Speed strategies. Making his way through. Hey, he does it. He gets through. Is this first card going to be a flower? iBooba does get the star. Doesn't get Runaway though. That's good. Oh, he gets the Mushroom. Too bad. That was a good strategy though. Not having P-Speed would give you a different cloud. Does he get door three? He does not get door three. We didn't see Proa go for door three last time, so I don't think he's gonna go for door three this time. All right, here we go, no door three. He will be able to catch up in time though, right? He's getting lucky his opponent's not going, or not getting those points, because that'd be pretty big. Alright, again, he dodges a massive bullet. No runaway, bro. Alright, both runners in the same level, though. Very nice. Neither runner taking hit, man. We very rarely see both runners in the exact same spot here. And it looks like iBooba is going to be able to get the combo. And it looks like Proa is also going to be able to avoid a water battle here. Hopefully that Hammer Brother goes down and to the right for Proa. That'll be really good for him. A double combo. And he does get it. Does he know his special tiles though? That's the question. Does he know his special tiles? He does know special toss. Both runners getting the combo. Very nice, man. I love to see that. 
And just like that, he uses the cloud, and he is out of there. All right. Nice. Both of them getting rid of that boss bass. Boss bass can be very scary in this level. And just like that, guys, man, both runners getting the points. Both runners getting the points. Yes, iBooba got the Flower Star Mushroom. Not that one, sorry. This one right here. Yes, Flower Star Mushroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, he takes damage. That's going to be bad. He's going to have to grab the extra Fire Flower. As long as Proa does not... He doesn't even have to get the H jump. He's just got to not lose it. And he does get the H jump. Oh, man. He took the lead for a second. Wow. And he takes the lead right there. On top of Ibuba, the power of the H jump, ladies and gentlemen. The power of the H jump. All right, Pro, we're getting the flower, man. Holy crap, this is very interesting. Thirty-second delay takes the lead. Well, it's a good thing it's not about time now, is it? Because he doesn't have a massive lead on points, right? No, you you, you can't look at these runners' timers now. Like like Ibuba is fifteen. Ibuba is at sixteen minutes, and Proa is at sixteen thirty. So Proa is behind by thirty seconds right now. Well, maybe a little bit less. But we have the runners doing a dot done in real time when they're finished the race, so we will know. We will know who's behind. But based on timers, Ibuba is in the lead, but it's you can't tell from the video because he had to delay. Airship means get dinner, that's right. Airship means you guys have the time. It means you have the time. Ibuba does have the two points on him, but he does have the flower star mushroom. Which Proa doesn't, but Proa is on his way. He does have the flower. Proa also has the mushroom house, though, and uh, Ibuba still has a chance for those. But both runners getting rid of the water and special tile. I like to see when runners get rid of the special tile early on because it's such an annoying. There we go. Oh, a faster fire kill on Booba's side. Going to take that lead just right back. Booba had 22 coins at the end of the pyramid. Right on. Right on. And what... And that information is... For... The future. Alright, we're coming into World 4, guys. 22 coins, yes. Don't know what that means, but... Watch out for those 22 coins, man. Alright, here we go. First world where these runners can get punished, guys. The first world... Where these runners can get punished if they do not do a very nice 288 and 4-3. Alright, we know Ibuba does not go for peace speed strategies in this level. And Proa also does not go for peace speed strategies in this level. I don't blame this level. It's pretty scary. And look at how comfortable these runners are going through without the peace speed strategy. I mean, look at that. You don't even really lose that much time. So. Peace speed saves a massive amount of time from like start to finish, but inside each level individually, sometimes it's really not that much time. Especially if you hold forward the whole time and don't don't mess up. All right, moving to four on Booba's side, going to lose that lead. We'll stay on his audio though, just in case. We'll see what happens. He gets the shot. He's not gonna have to do the turn back. Pro losing peace speed and I Booba just catching up right there, and just like that, he takes the lead back. These guys are back and forth, back and forth. I love to see it. Alright. Wait, did did Proa get a mushroom there? Oh no, Proa missing a jump. Looks like he's gonna get punished. Proa had a flower and a star, but did he get a mushroom there? I don't think he did. Don't worry, my judges will help me out. But I don't think he did. I didn't see a mushroom, but double check. He is going to get punished for that one, though. 
We got Hammer taking a look at the inventory. Ibuba's inventory is looking pretty good. Missing the chest. All right, Pro is starting back up again with the flower. Pro is a pro at flower star flower. All right. Both runners getting... Getting that cloud, man. That's big. I've been offing for the um, very scary fast strategies where Proa is going to go for the slower strategy, but a little bit more safe. However, in this scenario, you are swimming blind, so it is very hard to tell sometimes where he's going to throw him. Just like that, right? He threw to the right, he threw two, he's going to throw two more very shortly right now. And he did. It was close, though. Close, though. All right. Looks like we got P-Wing and the Cloud right... Oop, sorry. Right there. Bada-boom. And then he gets the star. That is good. He might be able to avoid the Mushroom House. Does Pro and Noah's Hammer Brothers? This could be big. Does he get the P-Wing? Oh, and he gets the star. Not the P-Wing. Not what he's looking for. Not what he's looking for. However, he is going to get the P-Wing after the star. Just unfortunately, there's no point for that. However, he is going to go to the Mushroom House, though, to make sure that no P-Wings touch. We'll see how that goes. He's going to use the star in this level. Look at how much he doesn't have to worry. Boom. Easy. He's going to grab the other star. Oh, he's not going to grab the other star. There's some nice somersaults. Boom. And Ibuba not getting the fire flower from the mushroom house. But he does have he does have the watered down inventory. Which is very important for these runners. And does he get early P-Speed? Will he have to go for it two times? Will he get it early? He does not get it. Is he going to go back for it with the Fire Flower, though? He is going to go back for it. This is going to allow Proa some time to catch up, especially if he doesn't get it within a few tries. He didn't get it there either, and he's going to opt out of it. He's like, I'm out. I told you guys, it is not an easy P-Speed strategy. And just like that, Proa is in the same fortress. Not going to go for the early P-Speed, which means he's going to get right through and catch right up. These guys are still neck and neck. <laughs> so yes, as you can see from the timer, Ibuba is ahead by a solid 20 or 30 seconds. Um, I'm basing my commentary definitely on the visual aspect of where these guys are, and then we'll get more of a real time, um, a, more of a real time time, an RTA time. On uh, where these runners are whenever they uh, press dot done in the Discord. Uh, the Discord, the Discord is kind of what I rely on, and then without that, I just visually watch. So how you guys doing? We are on the boring airship, so we have time to we have time to talk. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. Yeah, well, the timer thing is just Ibuba. He his Discord crashed right as the race started, and he started late. So I'm I'm just not gonna go off the timer. I'm just gonna go off the visual, and then they're gonna dot done whenever they're done. Do, 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 do. To avoid coin ship in 3-1 since he had 22 coins and 2 in the 10s place after the pyramid. Yeah, that's true. He could have done that. I mean, as long as he had... As long as he did um, an odd time in the timer, he would have been fine in 3-1. Um, but hey, man. Whatever these guys decide to do to avoid coin ship, that's their own thing. And you know what? What Ibuba did obviously worked, right? And that's the thing. That's what's most important. It was, it was cool to see something different like that and try and figure out what it was, right? I mean, I love seeing some of those things. All right, looks like we're going to go to the second half of the points scorecard right here. World 5, which means they're going to have to get a mushroom in the roulette game. 280 in the pyramid and no bumping on the overworld. Pro in a sticky situation. I do not like to be in the bottom section. The visuals are not for first and second place. I'm just simply using the visuals as the reference for commentary. 
Whenever they dot done, whenever they stop their timers, that's going to be what their time is. Neither runner started their timer early or late. Ibuba just started his race overall late. So that's why he's this far behind. So whatever they're, whatever, whenever they stop their timer, that's what their time is for the race. Like, that's what it is. The visuals are just straight up for the commentary. I can't keep looking at the times to really try and figure out who's ahead and behind kind of thing. Makes it pretty difficult. All right, here we go. 5-1. Ibuba starting first. He's going to climb the stairs to get out of here. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, there is a P-switch in this level. If you hit it, you will see some magical threes in the water section. How do you get there, though? That's the scary part. All right, no bumps on Booba's side. No bumps on Proa's side. Looking pretty good. Stairs are a little scary. And he's out of there. Moving to two. No bumps. All right. Knows the strats. Gets the P-speed. Booba does not fall down the shaft. And Proa does get another flower. He's got this, man. Come on, Pro. Flower, star, mushroom. He's got, He's so good at flower, star, flower. Which, I'm impressed, man. It, it's hard to control flowers. A little shaky, but he's good, man. He's getting out of there. Alright, he's out of there. No bumps on Bubba's side. All right, here we go. No music box either. This could be interesting. All right, look at them. They're on the same level right now. Watch out for those stairs and he's good. No bumps on the overworld map from either of them yet. He's gonna go for the roulette game, though. He does want to get some points. Mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, man. Can he get it out of the way early? Oh, he gets mush fangs. He gets vampire mushroom. He's gonna use his music box. Get the heck out of there. He's gonna use his star. He wants that 280. Nice. Pro is gonna use the music box. He's gonna avoid the roulette game. He's just gonna go, man. He's getting out of here. Try for that 280. It's gonna be tough, though, without a star. A star makes it very easy. As long as you keep P speed to get that 280. Oh, I just missed the pipe. That's okay, though. As long as he gets through, right? Don't die. Bonk, bonk, and he's out of there. Nice. Ibuba, on the other hand, looks like he might be able to snag this 280, 285. 284, 283, 282. He gets the 282. That's a big time, 282. That's a that's a big boy time right there. All right, this is the hardest level, man. We've seen so many deaths in this run. 5-4, very scary. All right, here we go. Proa, he's got the flower, he's got the star. He just needs the mushroom. Nice, if you're not comfortable with this level... Not using PCB strategies will be your friend, and as you can clearly see, Proa has no trouble at all with that level. Comfortable, man. No problems. Ooh, Ibuba messed up a little bit. He does get it. Oh my gosh, Proa with the flower star flower every time, man. I don't know who's who's worse right now, Proa or Rupert? Who's worse right, right now, Proa or Rupert? All right. It's tough, man. I don't blame him. It's some tough stuff, dude. It's really hard to get. All right. Booba. Mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, my God. And he gets it. The mushroom, mushroom. He's going for that full clear world five. Ooh, Proa getting the star. Not what he wants to see. All right. Here we go. No bumps from either runner yet. Right in the pipe. There you go, Pro again through. They're both finishing the same level right now. I Booba. I want to see a Jesus clip. No, oh, it's okay. There's no reason for a runner to see G uh, runner to do Jesus clip. If a runner does do Jesus clip, I would actually be pretty disappointed. Oh, he almost clipped through that railing thing there. Whatever. I don't know what those platforms are. I don't know what these are. Mario's a giant compared to them. 
So I don't know. Just like that. Pro Proa is very, very good at non P speed strategies. Right? He's like, I know Ibuba has that initial 20 second lead or whatever here because he's passed them visually. But, like, he is staying with them, right? And it just goes to show, guys, that you don't always have to do P speed strategies. Oh, and Ibuba gets the flower. Is making it very hard. He's he's getting so many points in this world. Making it very hard for Proa. But here's Proa right here. Ahead of him in the level. But not the points. Gotta wait for that second one to be thrown, and he's on his way. Um, no fanfare though, right? It's gonna be scary. Nice, and he's out of there. He knows how to get those flowers, man. Definitely knows how to get those flowers. Alright, Booba's inventory looking pretty clean. Ibuba's, or sorry, Pro's inventory and Ibuba's inventory looking pretty clean and just like that. You see? No bumps from either runner. Whee! Just like that. How you guys doing? How you guys feel about that World 5? Proa, I think, is setting an extremely good example for all of you guys out there who think, I can't enter this tournament. These guys are too good for me. I mean, look what he's doing, man. He's doing comfortable, not all P-Speed strategies, and look at how much he's... You know, if he would have gone... If he would have got a couple mushrooms, maybe learned how to do the 280 in the pyramid, he could still be going very passive, but, you know, early P-Speed... In the fortress in, in World 4, you know, and he's still doing pretty good. If he went for the duck ship, which costs no time, right? He'd be having some, uh, some good chunky points and keeping up with somebody who's going very fast, right? Alright, looking good, looking good. No lifelines yet, guys. Like we said, like I said before, I highly doubt we're ever really gonna see lifelines used in uh, the first. Keeping his distance, getting that fire kill. Yes, I boobs practice points. Him boobs, the boobs. Yeah, he's not just keeping up, right? He is taking the visual lead here and there. He is catching up, man. <sighs> man, Proa is doing a very good job. I just just needed to practice some of those points. You know what I mean? Some of those, like the uh, the roulette point. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's time consuming, sure, but there's nothing strategic or difficult about it, right? So, let's see how it goes, though. Let's see how it goes. Item inventory looking pretty good. Both runners. Proa getting bottom pattern. If I boop it gets top pattern, you kiss that point, Bagai. Alright. Bagai. I didn't I didn't even say goodbye, I said Bagai. Alright, here we go. The P-Wing strategy is a nice way to get the 290 in this. So let's see how this goes from both runners. Nice. Proa go nice and safe. I boop is gonna have to use one of his P-Wings to get that point, which is not a bad idea. Yes, taking the- Ooh, almost. And, and you guys, I just want to remind you guys that Proa also has not died in this run yet either. And that's also very difficult to do in Mario 3 speedrunning. There we go. And he, he does not get to 279, but that's okay. He made it through. And just like that, Ibuba with 282 on the timer. Will he be able to clutch it at 281? 280? And he does get the 280, so he will be taking that point home. Ibuba with a thick card right now, guys. Thick card. This is scary, man. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see a points record? They both have low pattern. They both have low pattern right here. Nice, bro. Getting through nice and clean. He's gonna go up top. That's a safe spot, man. That that flipper, man. That spinner can kill you. Yeah, if you jump too low, that spinner will definitely kill you. It'll take you down. It looks like Pro might have given up on the flower star flower thing. I'm not too sure yet. Oh, Bump, you're lucky this isn't World 5. You are lucky. Gotta use that P-Wing. Proa not gonna go for the despawn strategies. It is very, very precise, but he's gonna get the stomp and go the comfortable route, and just like that. 
He knows the strats, man. He knows the strats. However, iBooba is definitely going to catch up. You guys can see the power. Look at the power of the despawn strat, right? I mean, it's big versus someone who doesn't do it. But, I mean, you do, what you, you do what's comfortable, right? You do what's comfortable. And just like that, Hammer Brother facing left. That first one right there is the one that Proa wants. Oh, iBooba getting another low pattern. And he does get the right bro. So if he can get out of here, he gets another point. Does he get out of here? Gets bad RNG. He can't put him to sleep and he can't use the hammer. Oh, man. And Proa getting the low pattern. iBooba in a sticky situation. Use the cloud over level 7. Use the cloud over level 7. Yes, that is the right move. Figure it out, dude! You gotta make a decision here! Use the cloud, do the extra level! Yes, there it is! And there you go, he is done. He had to decide, man, he's got to make a decision. He does get the low bro pattern, though, and so does I- or so does Proa. They both get the low pattern. That's okay, man, he did lose some time there, but he made the right decision for the points. Right? He made the right decision. I think that was the right decision, I'm not gonna lie. He run the risk of getting a high pattern, and he would have lost the two points. That would have been a three-point swing had he not done that. And I think that was the right decision. All in all, just to do an extra level. Right? Good decision. Both runners getting points in this world. Nice. Probably gonna grab the tail. Gonna be able to flutter his way over, do some tail swipes, and he's good. Getting the H jump on Booba's side. He did not touch the ledge, so he's good. Nice. Pro is going to get the one up. He's looking for the 20 live score. He wants that 20 lives. The only thing stopping Pro right now from getting under one hour is 7 1 and the hands, I think. No, you are in good hands. You just cannot. You gotta burn one of those leaves. That's all. You gotta burn a star and you gotta burn a leaf. That's it. Pro has to use a star too soon. Burn a leaf vape nash. Yeah, he's got to burn him, man. Burn one right here. All right, maybe later. Maybe later. This is such a wacky race on Booba's side. Doing an extra level and clouding a random level, not using the hammer, which is fine. Not the end of the world. Does he get the clip, though? Does not get the clip. I think he is tired of World 6. I think he's done with World 6. I don't blame him. World 6 is a rough world. And Pro making his way through. Hopefully the conveyor belt does not juke him, and it does not. And he's in the clear, right on. Pro is now on the elevator. He's gonna get those ghosts out of the way. Jump back over. All right, and he's in the clear from these ghosts. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Just like that, he is right through. First one on the airship. Neither getting floor clip. Still. No one has gotten Floor Clip in this tournament. If not a single person gets it once, I am going to be taking it out of the tournament. That point will no longer exist. It will die with Jesus Clip. Alright, here we go. Here we go. On the airship now. We got Fire Clip. Last race, Proa didn't even try for the Fire Clip and we gave him hell. So let's see if he goes for it this time. It's a free clip. I hope he doesn't do it early, though. I hope he's practiced it. Because if he does it early and he gets squished by the wall, I can't be blamed for that. First try does not work on Booba's side. Does not work second try. He does not get it second try. Is Proa gonna attempt it? I don't know. He's not hugging the left wall. That's normally the patented go for it. He's not gonna go for it. It's at... That's a free point if he gets it, right? I mean, that's there's no harm, no foul going for that. <laughs> well, we have, uh, we have, what is it? Um, door 3 was in Season 1. There hasn't been enough seasons to confidently say that there should be points in every season, right? This is only the second season. And the only returning points we have is Door 3... Rangless and six four three clip, right? I think those are the only three points returning. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, I really hope Proa takes some damage here. Oh no, the safety 
So whenever you jump with the tail, you always decrease in speed jumping with the tail. Which means 7-1 clip is actually harder with the tail. So if you're struggling with 7-1 already, doing it with the tail is, uh... All right, here we go. Five tries each. I hope for pro -a man. I'm on his side. I want him to get it. One. Two. Three. Four. Last try. Wasted it. Wasted his last try. Here we go. pro -a catching up. One. Two. Three. Oh, wasted. Four. Last try. Oh, all right, come on, Proa. Right, as he jumps, he slows down. Decrease in speed can prevent you from even getting the clip and also cause you to get bad subpixels. But he does get it. Very nice job, dude. Oh my gosh, not even me, not even I will attempt that with the tail. Yeah, use the star, use the leaf. Use them both. Figure it out. Come on, Booba, you spent like a minute in inventory. Yes, burn it. Burn those leaves. Vape Nash, man. Let's go. All right. Right on. There we go. We got it. Both players in the same level. He wants that leaf, though, so he can flutter across the gap. Devil's anus just fluttered right over it. Nice. Right over the devil's arse. And he's in there. Nice. He also doesn't have to get pixel perfect into the pipe. He can flutter right to the next pipe. Misses the flutter. I think he wanted to build a P-Speed arrow to knock in a mushroom. This could be bad if he gets a mushroom. And he does, man. The fanfare. And that is also going to affect his one-ups right there. That is also going to affect his one-ups. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it. But it happens. It happens. I don't think he would have got a mushroom if he jumped past the wooden spot. But look at these runners still in the same level, guys, right? Say what you will, but Proa is holding his own, and he's doing it without the standard corporatized speedrun strategies. The government's P-Speed, right? All of us do the same P-Speed strategies. He's not following the system. He's making... Oh, and he gets a flower! Dude, he can still get Flower Star Mushroom. Burn those leaves, man. Nice. <laughs> Yes, use those clouds. His inventory is still clean. There you go. Item Abuse Island. He does not have to use a P-Wing. He is in the clear. Boom. Oh, swing and a miss. He jumps right over the boom boom, but that does not matter because he squashed him, man. He's in the go. And just like that, the hands could give Proa a lead here. I mean, you never know. All right, he's going to use that P-Wing. He's in the clear with P-Wings. The moment these runners can prove to me that it's impossible for their items to touch in their inventory, that's when you get the point. Right? Why would I wait until you have to finish in under 60 to give you a point that obviously no items can touch in your inventory anymore, right? That's the whole point with that point. But points like taking no damage in World 8, I, you gotta beat an under 60 for me to give you that point. I don't know, man. Maybe if you got 60 minutes at 8-1, you could have taken damage on Bowser's Castle. I don't know, right? That's why you don't get that point. The 20 lives, it says in the rules, finish. Finish the run with 20 lives. All right, he's got that extra hammer suit. Proa is also going to go down. Is he going to skip the hammer suit, though? He might as well. There's no need for it. That's right. No need for it. That's right. All right. 7-9. Here we go. You remember, though, Ibuba has to do the fortresses. He's going to go for the clips. Oh, my God. Give me that RNG in my runs, please. Oh, man. And Proa getting the flower star flower for the ninth time. What is with that combination? All right, here we go, Proa. You got that Fire Flower, Proa. He does have the Tanook, though. Yeah, there we go. All right, mid-clip for Ibuba. He's gonna go for one attempt. One. He's got one more attempt. Oh, and he does not get it. Last time, Proa also... So, Proa didn't go for the World 6 Airship Clip, and he didn't go for mid-clip as well. 
two very, very free uh, points here. And if you're not feeling confident with time, I mean, the, the free points are free points. Nice. And that early fire flower. However, Ibuba has to do this level. Na 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 na. Come on, Pro, and get through there. All right, he's through. He made it. Ibuba in a very scary situation as he doesn't have a cloud. Oh my god, and Proa, that's your last chance. Proa's last chance right here. Oh, that was a sick hammer kill. Music box, yep. Cloud. I can't guarantee no items are going to be touching as he does have that star. As soon as he burns that star, he is in the clear. He is in the clear. All right. Ibuba, definitely not used to the uh, hammer suit in this scenario. Oreos. Cheerios. All right. He makes it through. Is this enough time gone by where Proa actually caught up in time? Oh my god. Crazy. All right, Ibuba can. It's impossible for Ibuba to have two items touching, so he is guaranteed that point already. That's it. It's impossible. Uh, no first try. No mid clips from either of them. Let's move on down to the world A points. Somebody's getting first. Somebody's getting second. Somebody's getting first. Somebody's getting second right here. All right, we'll see at what time on the timer Proa gets the wand, and then we'll see when Ibuba gets the wand. Ibuba, is he gonna get that fire flower? Don't waste Wrangless. It can happen to anyone, right? You never, dude, you never count Wrangless out. The odds of getting Wrangless is a one in four chance, I think, but it happens pretty often, man. It's. It's a weird... Oh my god, he's not! Oh, he's got a fire flower in his inventory. I think that's what he's planning on. I think that's what he's planning on. I don't know. I don't know, Gravy. Alright, let's see when Pro grabs the wand. Pro might actually be in the lead. Especially with hands, right? Oh, I already forgot about hands. Pro could win the time race here. And just like that, guys, comfortable strategies. All right, let's see. Pro grabs the wand. 47-44. Booba's got 30 seconds to grab that wand. 47-44. Oh, my gosh. How did this race become so close in time? Right? If Pro gets first place, he gets the points, and he takes some points away from Booba. Uh, because in World 6, he used the Cloud in 6-7 instead of using the Hammer... Because the hammer brother was in the in the way and he had a cloud. He had a cloud hammer suit cloud. And just like that, Proa is ahead. Proa is ahead by four seconds. Use the star! He is given the points right there. Good move. And Proa is ahead by four seconds, guys. It is all come down to the hands. I told you. I freaking told you guys. You go with what's comfortable. Now, I don't agree. That Proa didn't go for certain points that were already in his path, right? They were he should have gone for them, man. Maybe some spade card roulettes, maybe some clips. They were already right there in his in his way, right? He should have gone for them, but it's okay. Definitely, definitely, and just like that, Ibuba cannot get Wrangless anymore. Just like that, right? So, Proa is going to have 20 lives, so as long as he does not... As long as he not... Uh, what, what do we call it? As long as he doesn't autopilot in Bowser's Castle and grab the 1-up, when he does the 1-up clip, he should be good. As long as he doesn't do that. I told you guys, man. I told you. It's going to... I told you... What did I say? It was going to be speed versus points. 
It might be a challenge. I think so because he cannot take damage. This is a chance for Proa to really turn it around. If Proa takes the lead in time and takes the points away from first second, right, and causes Ibuba to lose points, then Ibuba takes damage because he's not comfortable with the hammer suit. That's another point, especially if Proa can get through. And from randomizers, Proa can definitely get through World A without taking damage. Does he get Wrangless though? No, when the Boomerang Bro moves backwards, it is impossible to get Wrangless. Also, Proa has a chance to get Flower Star Mushroom as well. Lots of points here on Proa's side. And Proa is still probably one or two seconds ahead. I don't know how much lag either of them caused um, on tank like 13, whatever. I think it's like tank 12 or 13 on the auto scroll or something like that. Mm, can't get Wrangless with the hammer suit, unfortunately. Yeah, Ibuba's played very, very well. Just um, some questionable decisions. I know I was freaking out, and when he watches the playback, I, I don't want him uh, to be upset. I was just freaking out because I we want a decision to be made, and he did make the right decision. So I think we're happy, man. Using that cloud got him those two points, right? So he he got top. He got low patterns from the Hammer Brothers and got that point, and then he was in the clear for the inventory points. So if he used that hammer in World Six and fought that bro, he could have lost. The low patterns, which he didn't because he didn't fight it. He could have lost that and he would have lost his inventory. That would have been three points right there. But he definitely made the right decision. Uh, max possible points, I think, is 36. Alright, here we go. Proa going to be going at the hands first. Gonna burn those leaves. Delaying on the pipe. Alright, man. If he gets... That is not what Proa wants to see, man. Oh, and that's gonna cost him a point right there. Hammer Brother falling through the gap. That's gonna cost him time, too. This is, a, this is probably whenever something dumb happens where Ibuba gets no hands. Not that it's dumb for him, that's great for him. But the problem with that is that that's exactly what Proa didn't need. Oh, three hands right there. Wow. And just like that, it's gonna be very hard. Very hard for Proa. However, Proa can still get a point here if he gets pulled in by one more hand, right? Let's see. Oh, and he doesn't get all three hands, but he has a P-Wing. Going to use it. Alright. And just like that, it is going to be. Look at this. <laughs> Excuse me. Neither runner benefiting from the hands. I mean, the goal of this is just to stay under 60. I, why? What, there's nothing. You want to get all hands. All hands might affect your ability to win the race altogether, but I mean, if you're just, if you're stacking points on top of points, you know, if you're in Ibuba situation, Ibuba probably wanted all three hands. Why not, right? Why not? Oh! Proa landing on the Rocky. So he's not going to be able to secure that. Very unfortunate. I don't know if you guys saw that. You had to be quick to see that one. He's not going to get that point. Very unfortunate, and Ibuba is going to go for the Rocky and get it. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I'm always afraid of that overkill right there. Yeah, uh, getting leaves from the hands touching does not count because that would be incredibly unfair. <laughs> right? You'd have to, like, use the leaf every time he got the hand. Yeah, that'd be unfair. Alright, Pro's gonna take it nice and calm here. Meanwhile, Ibuba is going to use the star here. Let's see the difference in routing. Is he going to take the secret? He is going to take the secret. Don't get the life, though. He's not going to. Whee! All right. And uh, the peace speed strategies on Ibuba's side is big. Don't get the star, though. He doesn't get the star. That's good. All right. This is it. Bro, I get this star. Oh, my gosh. And those, the car, the end level cards did not like Pro at this match, man. He got so many flower star flowers. Never seen that many before. All right, sun kills from both sides. Ibuba gonna do the turn left. He does get the sun kill. 
He has now entered the 20 point range. All right. Proa also does get it. Ibuba still has not taken damage. Still has not taken damage. Proa just a little bit out of his comfort zone, but I think he does a great job being in that situation. I mean, this is, you do what you got to do. Like we said, the hands definitely controlled Proa's ability to take the lead here. But very close. All right, so Ibuba has 20 lives and so does Proa. Let's see if they autopilot. Maybe a death here. Who knows? The conveyor belts, the doorways. You never know, man. Anything can happen. But I don't think so. He's doing pretty good. Gets through the doorway. Pro's turn now. Neither runner getting t enough coins. That's good. They're close, though. Alright, gets the hammer kill. It's now Pro's turn. Gets in the one cycle, and he is under the spikes. Oh, almost gets the hammer kill. Very nice. Almost got the overkill, though. I don't know if Pro has got the overkill before, how he would deal with that. All right. And just like that, the hands definitely took Pro's ability to win the race in time, which would have been very big because he would have been taking points away and he wouldn't have lost the point. Hmm. Um, so what happens is if you, so the Boom Boom only has five ticks of health, right? And the hammer brother, and the hammers do one tick per frame. So if you throw a hammer at the Boom Boom, you can kill the Boom Boom in five frames, right? So what that means is that if you throw two hammers at the Boom Boom and you deal more damage, if you deal too much damage to the Boom Boom, his health will actually uh, roll over and cycle into its normal like 200 health or something it's weird because it's in like hex or whatever so you'll have to throw a lot of hammers at the boom boom to kill him and that's what happens if the hammers attack him too fast you can use that to your advantage that's exactly what happens with the star when you use the star and you kill the boom boom you just kill him instantly because you just do way too much damage and you get the upside down orb. You can do the same thing in the fortress in world eight. And it's actually a time save with the hammer suit, a, a substantial one um, considering, uh, but it is very difficult to pull off. All right, let's see what happens here. Both runners are gonna finish in under 60, so we're not gonna see any punishment. I booba getting the clip here. Let's see if they autopilot. I wanna see, I wanna see an autopilot. Oh, no autopilot on him. He looks like he's in the clear. Oh, does not pull a Karua. So he's, he's, he's good, man. He's good. Oh, that was so close on Proa's side. Proa, I thought he autopilot there. Proa not getting a Karua either. Doing good. And just like that, Ibuba is going to be the first. Place winner. Very impressed with Ibuba's ability to keep that hammer suit. Looks like he was a little bit... Right? Wow, so close. Uh, wow, man. These guys are less than a minute apart. Holy crap. All right, and there we go. Ibuba starting out first this time, and they are off. Now we have official timer and visuals for both of these runners. And as we already know, on Proa's side, he's going to go very conservative, comfortable strategies, which we saw earlier actually helped him a lot in the run. He almost took first place in time in that last race had the hands been just a little bit nicer to him. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me fix this little cutoff here. Yeah, there we go. Fix some now we don't have so much cutoff there. Looking kind of nice. All right. Both runners getting through. One, two. Pro going to get the leaf. He's going to do the uh, fly strategies in the fortress rather than the duck jump into the block. 
we've seen both strategies actually work in this tournament, so... That's what you like to see, man. You want to see all the strategies work. Booba getting early P-Speed was gonna have to ditch it for that orb, man. If he takes damage on that orb, that's really bad. But iBooba does get the fast uh, leaf grab, which means Pro's uh, strategy is not going to be able to clutch him, clutch him ahead here. And just like that, he flies up. He is going to save a little bit of time, not having to go for that. But overall, going to be a little bit harder for him to catch up here. All right, one to five now. Over the slide strategy, and he is out of there. Gonna take the damage, that's gonna be fine with him. I don't think that'll be much of a problem. Let's get his jumps. Doesn't get his- Oh, thank god, man. You get your head stuck in the ceiling, that is the worst. Alright, movement of one on Booba's side, and he is on his way in 1-6 right here. He's going to go for the P-Speed strategy without the tail. Hopefully the one-tile gap does not- No, it does not mess him up. He jumps a little early, though. If he didn't get that full P-Speed, man, that could have been rough. Proa gonna not go to the bottom. Alright, he's gonna go for P-Speed strategies right here. Oh, he's not gonna go for the P-Speed strategy. He could have got the Leaf um, at the start of the level and then did the Fly Strat, so... Very interesting. Uh, I did not see iBooba get the first frame jump, but maybe we can get chat to confirm. Are you talking about the November Rando Tourney Beast Monster? These people do have sub 60s. Yeah, that's the cash prize Rando Tourney. I'm I'm trying to enter that one. Can you send a can you DM me the link for the signups for it? It's for November, man. I want to get in on that. I don't think either runner got the frame jump. And neither runner is going to get the duck. Wow. Wow, this is interesting, man. Yeah, that's the cash prize rando tournament. No runners doing the duck strategies. That's, um... That's good for Proa because he already doesn't go for that strategy. So, Booba's not going to have that two-point swing on him. Like he did last time. I think Clips only goes so far. That's why. Yeah, Clips only goes so far. All right, here we go. Entering the World 2. Pro with the fire kill. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nope. I had my count wrong. We are in the clear. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Things are heating up. Things are getting spicy. Things are getting hot. Look at those palm trees dancing. Ibuba has definitely shown that he can do the P-Speed strategies here in 2-1. We don't have to worry about how he's going to do them. Look at that. Right there. Killing some Goombas on the way. Getting it done. Just like that, he is out of the 2-1. Oh! He clipped right through the block! Taking damage! You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. That happens, and you hate to see it. Alright, Pro is turned. After the first level... After the first level... In World 2, you always get a movement of 2. Nice. Proa. Proa doing P-Speed strategies, so not too bad. He didn't do them last time, so he is upgrading. Proa, the consistent robot, is upgrading upgrading his software. Doing pretty good, man. He's doing good. No points across the board yet. No points across the board. Both runners getting the same movement. Ah, he's still got a movement of 2, though. Still got a movement of two. Nice, bro. Taking it nice and easy there, just like last time. We did see Booba fall into the drink, and if I... If Pro it doesn't, then he's gonna save... Yes, he is going to save a bit of time on iBooba right there. iBooba also does not have Fire Flower, so... That's a chance for Pro to save some time. But both runners are clear with their end-level cards, which means they can start going for the Flower Star Mushroom. It has begun. Pro getting another movement of two, man. Imagine Pro just clutches out all these random, all these random points. But we need Pro to start going for points that are right there in his way that don't cost him time, like the clips on the airships, the clips in seven nine, right? Those are some free points. 
You want to see him clutch those out. Want to see him clutch those out. And just like that, with the Fire Flower kill, he will be able to catch up a little bit of time. However, he does do a slower strategy in 2-3, so let's see what happens here. And Ibuba getting that Fire Flower very early. That is good for him. Nether moving to 2 on Pro's side. Nether moving to 2 on Booba's side. Holy crap, man. Both these runners are probably getting more movements of 2 than they'd like. And just like that, Proa with the clean strategies. Look at that, man. He is in there. Oh, takes damage. Ooh, man, that was scary. But he does get the sun. He's going to get the star. He does get the star. And just like that. All right. Pro also getting the flower, man. I want to see Pro get it so early in this run. And he never has to worry about it again. Ibuba getting a movement of one so we can kiss that movement of two. Goodbye. It's a very scary level two. And it's also very hard to get the mushroom in this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. How did he not die right there? I don't even get it. I don't even get it. How did he not die right there? That was so close. Does he get the mushroom though? Wow, he got the mushroom. Nice, and Proa getting the shell kill. Does he get the star? He does get the star, just like that. Sun kill, sun kill. Flower star mushroom right there, early. Nice, Proa going to an easier level. Remember Proa, when you want to get the mushroom, you do, you do a turn back, but don't do it too fast, right? You do not want to do it too fast. Is Booba going to clutch out some random points right here? No, he's not. There it is, the mushroom from Proa. Yes, I think at this point I'm allowed to say finally. He got it and he deserved it. It was the first thing he got when he was able to in World 2. Top Hammer Brother. That's right, very nice move there. Top Hammer Brother will have the hammer and it'll allow him to go right to the mushroom house after. Okay, I tricked him. I knew that that wasn't the hammer at the top. I wanted to see if he was listening. Just wanted to take a peek. All right, here we go. Does he get the flower in his inventory? Oh, he does not. He gets the mushroom. This is still going to be very tricky for him. He should have went down to the pyramid, then back to the hammer brother because... Ooh, this is going to make his inventory very difficult. It's going to make it harder. All right, he's on the pyramid. Just gotta get this pyramid done. Very nice, not knocking it. Boom, and he made it right across. Over the gap, does he get stuck? He does not get stuck in the hill. Gotta watch out for those stuck hills. Boom, knocks it back, slides under, jump shoot, and he's out of there. He's saying, I don't want P-Speed. Does not even have to worry about his cards, though. And he finally gets the rest. And there it is. Ibuba still not having the Fire Flower, but he will be able to get it on this airship. Proa just has to do Hammer Brother, and then he's out of here. I don't know. He's got to do some very tricky dicky stuff. And remember, the two mushroom houses in World 3 will only give you frog suits. We don't want that item. Because we don't want that item. Alright, here we go. Both on the airship now. Ibuba dancing on Bowser's boxes. His shipments. Who knows what's inside those crates, man. Who knows what's inside those crates. Alright, Ibuba is going to be the first to go for the fire kill. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Takes damage. Oh, and he does not get to get launched all over the place. He's good. He's good. That was scary at first. That was pretty scary at first. That was pretty scary at first. Da, 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 da. Boom. Knocks it. All right, here we go. Entering world three, guys. This is it. The points are pretty even right now. I'd say they're so even that they're the same number. No way. Very nice. 
Pro is actually gonna save a little t a little bit of time here and there by having a much a much better uh, boss kill, and he doesn't have to get the backup fire flower. So Pro is gonna need Ibuba to get a water battle, no special tile. He needs him to not get door three because we know Pro is not gonna go for door three, and that's a that's a conscious decision by him. He he doesn't go for it. He doesn't want the time loss. Doesn't think he can get the door three. I mean, door three only costs you about five seconds, right? Five, six, five or six seconds. Um, and as you saw, he finished with enough time on his timer last run, where he definitely could have tried it for the point, but you never know uh, how these runners are feeling at the, at the time, right? All right, neither runner is in coin ship range, which means Booba will not have to do an extra level in World 2. That was very interesting to see in round one. I liked it because it made me think, but it wasn't as complicated as, uh, as I was thinking. It was just simply voiding coin ships, uh, which is good. He obviously had enough time to finish his run, so when doing stuff like that, it looks pretty good. Ooh, almost goes right through the spinner. That center tile is actually empty. You can fall right through it. Both runners getting very nice uh, RNG with the Hammer Brothers, so this could be a... Uh... This could be a free world or not free world. Last run, they both had a very, very free world three where they both got special tile and they both got no water. And it looks like that's what's going to happen on Booba's side. It looks like he's going to be free. He's going to go for door three. Oh, he missed the door. Oh, and he doesn't get door three. And this is going to be a chance for Pro to catch up. However, he is a level and a half behind, so he's going to have to make some magic. Ooh, does not get as free pattern as Booba. Not get as free of a pattern as Booba, but let's see how this goes here. I mean, Booba's hammer brother could move down right here. Let's let's take a look. Both of them move down right here. This could be bad for him. No, he moves up. All right, so it looks like he's actually in the in the free here. He could get runaway. Does is he gonna sacrifice runaway, bro? Though. For special tile when you can get special tile later in the game. That's the question, right? Ooh, he's gonna get two coins here. Or just one. No, he's gonna get two. Alright, so it looks like Pro is gonna be able to avoid water battle. Maybe. Alright, looks like he's looks like looks like he's in the clear. No water and special. You got a special tile right there. And I can guarantee. No, no water battle, yes. And that's another special tile on his side, too. So Proa can get special tile if he moves down and then down again. Let's see. Oh, that is a special tile right there. No, he's not going to be able to get it. Wow, this is... Wow, Proa really needed this World 3 to work out for him with some of the RNG points, but not going to happen. It looks like he's going to be able to avoid water battle. He could still clutch this, right? Oh no, that death is going to be huge. That is a big oopsie because look at that. And just like that water battle as small Mario, he's got a mushroom though. He's going to music box. Although he has to fight a hammer brother, right? He died. So the bridges. The bridges are, are open after this level. He can't cross after this level. And the hammer brothers are going to be asleep for another turn. Oh man, the problem, the problem solving in this game. Yeah, he's definitely scared of that pit. I would be too. He gets the two coins as well, but his tens digit is very nice. Let's see what he does here. He can't fight a hammer, brother. So he's going to have to get a mushroom house. Uh, that'll be good for his inventory. That's exactly what he needs to do for his inventory. That's good. And I saw, oh, I saw you, Ibuba. I was watching, man. You got that H jump. That was close. Almost didn't get that H jump, Booba. Oh, man. Dude, if this Hammer Brother moves down and to the right, then Proa will actually be able to clutch this back. Nope. Forget about it. Oh. He's going to have to cloud across level 6, do level 7, then figure it out there. Let's see how he does. <sighs> Not an ideal World 3. That bri those bridges are open. Yup, because he died. You're gonna have to cloud, go to level 7. Grab the cloud and cloud back. Grab the cloud and cloud back. 
There it is. He's up there. All right. This is unfortunate. This isn't even Runaway, bro. That's what happens when you die in World 3. And you know what? I'm sorry, but that's just uh, that's just a rough go. He's getting a lot of coins here, though. We don't want to get too many extra lives. However, he does need to make up for the life that he did lose there. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. He's going to do the Fortress. He's going to hold on to that cloud. He's going to hold on to that cloud. Okay. Oof. Sometimes these runners, man, sometimes they run out of steam, right? It's a, It takes a lot mentally to focus on, on all the things that's going on with all the points and all the stuff. I mean, that's the make or break, right? You know, you can almost guarantee the person who's going to take first place in this tournament definitely earned it, right? I mean, you can't take that away from them. Nobody can sit here and say that it was all RNG. There's so many RNG points because, I mean... At the end of the day, Runaway Bro and this doesn't even matter. And all three hands don't even matter. And those are the two big components in Warpless that makes people win or lose. So, let's see how this goes here. Bro, it does have his extra cloud, but boy, oh boy, does he have a lot of catching up to do. Watch out for that boss bass! Oh, man, that was scary. All right, I Booba Dude and his patented no peace speed strategies does wall rub. Nice. As long as he doesn't take damage. Ibuba's in the clear. Now, Ibuba can get punished some points here. He can definitely get punished some points here. <sighs> Take a nice sippy drink, guys. I want to see Pro get another H jump. Two H jumps in a row on Pro's side. Turn back. Ah, oh, so close. Yeah, that extra turn back did not give him the height that he needed. Still good, though. World 3, guys. World 3. Super Mario 3. World 3. They had to. Alright, here we go. Ibuba not getting the most ideal patterns. However, if the Hammer Brothers switch and he fights the star before the cloud, then he can almost be guaranteed that point, right? He can almost be guaranteed that point. So we'll see what happens here. Does he get punished? In 4-3, does not look like he's going to be punished here. Does not look like he's going to be punished here. That's a scary point, man. That level isn't too hard. However, it becomes hard. You know, once once it's on the line, once you have to do perfect. I mean, in a run, you want to do perfect, but there's no huge punishment for not being perfect. But in the tournament, there is a big punishment. So we'll see how this goes. Not the ideal movement that Ibuba wanted to see. In order for him to get this World 4 point, he is going to have to use a music box. Ooh! Does not get the top P-Speed strategy. That's going to let uh, Pro be able to catch up a little bit of time. However... Oh, man, he's like the way this world's going for Booba, it's almost like he's close to being an entire world behind. Um, but I don't want to say that just yet. We have seen somebody accidentally use a warp whistle, haven't we, guys? It's crazy how anything can go in this. We have we have almost seen, like, everything, but I'm starting to think we haven't with everything that's happening right now. All right, he's got to use that music box. You got to. Yup. Whoop, the bump. Good thing this isn't World 5, and Proa is out of there. Nice. Uh, how long, how far behind would you guys say that Proa is right now? If we, if we wanted to give it a time, like if Proa used his lifeline right now, what kind of time frame could I give him? Let's see. Uh, we'll see when Ibuba enters the fortress here. Well, it could be different. Alright, he's gonna go for the flower, but also dilute his inventory a bit. Wow, he does get the flower. And look at that luck right there. That's what he needed. Wow. Nice, he wakes the Hammer Brothers up. That is a clutch play. I didn't even think of that. And he is gonna get the Cloud P-Wing. Wow, that play was actually really smart. He used the transition of the, mu the Mushroom House to wake the Hammer Brothers up. Now he's gonna get the star to have an item in front of his P-Wing, and just like that, holy crap. Wow. Very nice play on his side.
I'm not sure what this mushroom house is for here. He gets one just to troll. Gets another fire flower. Pro is like, yo, can you give me that fire flower? Not sure what that play was about there. But whatever. I mean, we've seen it before. Maybe he's preparing. He does not get the early peace speed. He's going to go back for it. I told you guys, it's a, it's a hard peace speed strategy. Never guaranteed. Didn't get it again. He's going to go back. Try it a third time. Proa is going to be catching up here. And there it is. He does get the early peace speed. And just like that, he gets the points. Oh, and Proa is not going to be able to get this. He is, he is going to be punished in World 4. He is going to be punished in World 4 for that. Um... I'm pretty sure Proa did not do water battles, so he does have that point. He did not do water battles. Alright, he entered the castle at 22 minutes. Ibuba entered the castle at 22 minutes. Can he use the hammer? Right on, and he's in there. Is this the star? Nope, that's the cloud, okay. We'll see how far or behind. Wait, at least Pro has got us watching stuff while uh, Ibub is on the, the best airship in the world. Ibuba, even though Ibuba's swimming blind, he does make it through. He does make it through. <laughs> and just like that, he uses the screen transition! Oh, and it was the wrong bro. He made the right play, but he didn't know his Hammer Brothers, and that happens. That is very unfortunate. And he is going to have a P-Wing in his way, but he's going to have a chance to do the Mushroom House. Try and get that flower from the Mushroom House. He's behind. He is hurting for points. We go to this Mushroom House. Not a bad play. This Mushroom House will not give you Tanuki, so I don't know if it's heightened odds or not. I have no clue. Alright, here we go. He's going to go into level 6. He's going to use the Star. This level's very comfortable for him as long as he uses the Star. And just like that, he can just jump right through all of the enemies. Boom. And look at that. Very beautiful. Oh, he takes the damage. Gets the side hit. And he's out of there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wow, man. Ibuba cutting it close there. Cutting it close. Nice pro. He's going to hit the uh, question block. Yes, to get the fire flower. Gonna get the jump off the dry bones. Boom. Alright. Gonna get the duck jump. Nope, he's gonna do the jump back. Yeah, that's a nice strategy. That's a comfortable strategy right there. Alright, he gets the kill. It looks like he is 2 minutes and 40. Two minutes and 48 seconds. That's a big, that's, that's big. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Three, yeah, three minutes, man. This is going to be hard for him. This is going to be tough. He's now on the airship. Now we have stuff to watch on Ibuba's side. We want no bumps on the overworld. We want no bumps on the overworld. Can't eat it. Right. Can't eat it. You're gonna choke on it. Cats doing cat things. Alright. Making it through. He's on 5-2. We have stuff to watch while Proa is on the airship. Good luck, Proa. Not a lot of donking around, man. We don't want to see anyone taking damage or getting hurt or anything. Looking good. Both, both players have gotten their inventory. Let's go ahead and switch over to the second half of the card here. Looking very nice. Very nice. No bumps on the overworld map yet.
No bumps on the overworld map yet. Very nicely done, Fortress Pro is still on the airship. The, the fastest airship in the game. Fastest airship in the game. Woo, no bumps on the airship again. Or sorry, no bumps in World 5. It's gonna go for the roulette game. Does he get a mushroom? Mushroom! Oh, and he gets it first try. That is going to be a big, big time save for him. Now he doesn't have to check anymore. All right, make his way to the hammer, brother. Did he mushroom house? He did item after he got the P-Wing. And Proa taking damage there. It's going to hurt him even further. Hopefully he doesn't go right through the boss. This could be really big. Sometimes you go right through the boss. Oh, man, I thought he, thought he was toast there. Holy cripes. All right, Ibuba is now gonna go for the 280. 280 and get himself out of there. <laughs> Gotta keep that P speed if you wanna get that 280. Gotta keep that P speed if you wanna get that 280. Here we go, 289. Oh, he missed the pipe! 286, he lost a second there. He lost a second, 285, 284, 283, 282, 281. Oh, he gets it, man. If he missed that pipe one more time, he wouldn't have got that. Nice, all right, pro, you're in. You're in the world five. He's got the leaf to be able to flutter his way up the stairs at ease, get the bounce. All right, he should be in the clear here. Is he gonna drop early? No, he's gonna flutter. He's gonna get past the block, get that P speed, get out of there, nice. No coin ship range, too. Yeah, buddy. No coin ship range. That is good. Oh, was that a bump? Was that a bump on Pro's side? That looked like a bump. That was definitely a bump on Pro's side. So he's not going to be able to clutch at that point, man. Those inventories, dude. That is tough stuff. He will, however, be able to flutter his way across, get right up those ramps, and he is good. Boobus not bumping on the overworld map. Snow though bumps on Boobus side, and Proa getting through the pipe transition, gonna make his way to the fortress. He's in a very comfortable position, Proa, with his tail. He does know some tail strategies just like that. He's going to be able to jump over, takes the damage, and he's going to be able to boost right through. Very nice on his side. The turn back causing him to lose P-Speed, and he takes the death. The loss of P-Speed. He was very comfortable at first. And then Comfort got away from him. Don't want to use a cloud. You're going to want to be small, Mario. You're going to want to get that power up. Use your backup strats. He knows him. Bro is a very, very good backup Mario 3 player. He knows randomizer. He knows how to play it safe and comfortable. So he is going to have to wait here. He has seen it before. He jumps right through. That is a very, very tough jump, man. I've been in that situation before. Nice. And Ibuba getting through the Regu Fortress. The Spaghetti Sauce Fortress. And not succumbing to the sauce. Still no bumps on the overworld map on his side either. So he could get a full clear... World 5, we don't see those often. Alright, Pro's gonna go for the music box. Get his way through, and he's on the Twisty Castle now. Alright, ooh, and missed a couple jumps. Maybe an up input, maybe a controller clean. Any bumps? No bumps on the overall map from Booba, and he does get the full clear World 5. Meanwhile, Proa does take damage. He's got to get himself through the Twisty Castle. Once he's past the Twisty Castle, he's good. If anything happens, he is still going to be in the Sky Zone. But if he dies in the Twisty Castle, he will not be in the Sky Zone. He will have to go through the Twisty Castle again. Which is insane. Because for anyone who doesn't know, the Twisty Castle is not an actual level. Okay? So for an example... In 100%, when you clear all the levels, you actually don't have to do the Twisty Castle. If there is a way around it, that would be okay, but there is no way around it. It is, it is just a very, very long 
uh, pipe transition. It's a pipe level. Disguised as a level, for a level, by a level. Just like that. We've seen these comfortable strats. Take notes! New runners, take notes. Proa is a great example of showing you guys how to get through these levels fast, safe, but without P-Speed. Just like that. Very good strats. Twisty Castle is not a level. It's just a pipe transition. It's just very long. If you could skip it in 100%, that would be legal. You would be allowed to do that and it would still be 100%. Nice, Pro getting his backup flower, sorry, leaf crab. Nice, gets P speed, he's gonna be able to fly over. And just like that, he gets over the gap, he's done, man, he's out of there. And again, he does not have to worry about his end level cards either. Because he had gotten those cards early. <laughs> gonna have to fight that music box. Nothing he can really do about it. Meanwhile, iBooba does great work with the boss, and he's out of there on his way to World 6. Alright, 5-7. He's gonna drop, grab that Fire Flower. Very good play, man. It's good to have Fire Flower. The Leaf is good, but Fire Flower is better. Fire Flower is definitely better. Nice, gonna use the hammer. Looks like his items in his inventory are good for those two points for now. Can't say for certain. He does get low pattern though. So he might be in the clear for more points. It's definitely something Proa does not want. Remember, Proa, Proa was in season one. Oh, and two P-Wings are touching. Yep. That's it, man. I had a feeling because he didn't music box in world five, right? I knew it. He didn't grab an item in world five and that cost him the, the two P-Wings touching, right? So for anyone who doesn't know how those items were touching, what happened was when you beat World 4, Peach's letter gives you a P-Wing, while the first enemy and the first item that iBooba got in World 5 was the P-Wing, bro. So there, just like that, two items touched. Hey! Just like that, two items touched. Proa in 5-8 right now. Not gonna get P-Speed, but, you know, he didn't get P-Speed last time and it worked out just fine as long as he, he has to watch out right at the end here. I've been watching, right? He's gotta wait, let that last one get thrown, and then he's out of there. He's in the clear. I saw that before, I remember. I know the strats now. Nice. Gets, gets through right there. Very nice. Very, very nice for both runners. Getting that one up. 12 lives. Ibuba getting the right hammer, brother. Oh, but he gets the up pattern. And just like that, Proa is done. World 5, and he's on his way. Unfortunately, he will not be getting the no bump point, sadly. He wants to avoid that hammer, brother, but he's not going to be get... He did get the 279, if I remember correctly, right? Yes, Ibuba did get the 279. I won't miss it. Yeah, I saw him get it. He did really well, but we were, we were in uh, mad deep Mario 3 lore discussion, but we did get it. We're good. He won't get the low pattern though, unfortunately. He will not get the low pattern. No, no lifelines yet used. I think Booba feels he's in the clear, and I think Proa knows he's um, struggling quite a bit, so I don't think we're going to see lifelines from either runner. Yeah, so Booba is now free of his inventory, so he can just get the heck out of here. Yeah, he can just get out of here. Doesn't have to waste any clouds now. Ooh, go for the jump there. Gets the P-Speed. Does he get the bonk list? Oh, no. He's going to do the bonk. You got to do the duck fly and the let go of D-pad. It's this whole big chore. Tough strategies, guys. Tough strategies. All right. He's in the clear in the doorway. Pro and now going to do for D. He did that strat last time. Looks like it works. Looks like it's a good boss strategy. And he nails it with a fire kill. And he's on his way to World 6. Alright, here we go. I boob again a bunch of movements of two, making his world six go by even faster. Oh, he takes damage. He could die here. I've seen it before. Gets the P speed. This is where it gets rough. Ooh, he could have gone right through the oh, Okay, he's good. Wow, scary stuff. But he did get a slowdown there. So Proa can definitely get some points here. Uh some RNG points. 
Especially if he gets all low patterns. And he still gets his inventory points. His inventory is still clean. And he use that P-Wing. Gets the low pattern, right? We get some points here. <laughs> Avoids coin ship. Love seeing that. He's still taking his run seriously. I like that, man. Good sportsmanship from all of our runners, man. All of them. All right, here we go. Oh, he's going to use a Fire Flower. That's actually a pretty good play. He's going to be able to save a bit of time using the Fire Flower. I wonder if he's going to go for the, the clip here. Both runners had a chance of getting a point here. Ah, oh, very, very early jump. Nice. And both runners having a chance for a point. Both runners losing that point, not being able to secure it. All right, Proa is done the start. Normally, the hardest part of World 6 is the start. That Fortress is very scary. That one right there, 6.1. All right, he's going to go to the Mushroom House. Maybe he gets the Flower Point. Does he get the Flower Point? He needs it. He needs something. Oh, and he gets it. There you go. Career points, guys. And that is going to be good for when he gets the Cloud in World 6. Items will not be touching in his inventory. All right, 6.4. Six 6.4, four. Six Zers. And uh, so here's an interesting thing. We do not want to see Booba use his lifeline here, right? We do not want to see I Booba use his lifeline. If I Booba uses his lifeline here, the only thing I can tell him is go fast and you'll win. That's all. That's the only information I can give him, right? So that would be a huge waste, a huge waste of his uh, of his lifeline. So he's got to be confident that he's winning here and not use it and use it later. And there is another point right there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Proa not getting the best luck with the marathons here. Not getting the best luck, but he does. He's doing great in his levels, man. Gets that clip. He's got to feel that he's in the lead. All right, he is on the special tile. He gets another low pattern. Come on, hit that block. No, it's... No! No, that's not the special tile. Sorry, the one above is the special tile. Oh, but he does get low pattern, so he's going to be able to get that point as well. He does get double low pattern. And just like that, he's gaining some points, man. Career totals, that's what I'm talking about. It's crazy to see some some people clutch in uh, some of these points, right? And then realize that just those small little mistakes sometimes can really hurt you. And then sometimes big mistakes don't even hurt you that much. Five tries. Five tries, Booba. One. Two. Oh, man, he gets a second try. That is going to help him with time indeed. Especially if Pro is going to have some struggle with the 7-1 Gatekeeper, man. 7-1. 7-1 is normally the bigger time loss in Warpless. 7-1 and the hands. Very, very crucial that people understand and learn how the uh, subpixels work and how 7-1 works. It's very important. Alright, he's going to do the traditional turn left and right for 7-2. Gets past the gap there, and he is good. Well... Okay, he's good. Oh, man, the movement, the Hammer Brother movements for Pro are just not being nice to him. But he is smashing his way through World 6. Doing a great job. Getting some extra points. Low batterns. Right? He does good 6-5. He doesn't have to fight the extra Hammer Brother as well. He got through the Fortress. I mean, he's, he's doing fine. Just the marathons, man. The Hammer Brothers for Pro side is uh, not being his friend. All right. He now has the chance to get this clip. Although this clip is very difficult. I want to see him try it. I want to see him go for it. Doesn't want to take damage here. Ooh, a little scared. Nice, he jumped through the orbs, dude. That was, I was worried there. I thought he was going to take damage. But he knew, man. He knew to jump through the orbs. Take notes, guys. Take notes. 
I'm dead serious. I'm not even joking. Proa, like I said before, Proa is a fantastic example of all the things that you can do in these levels without having to use certain peace speed strategies. No, Proa is still in the clear with his inventory. Proa has not had any items touched in his inventory. But Booba is... You can count him out. Booba is just about finished. Item Abuse Island. He's got one more item abuse right here. Oh, watch out. Who's clouds touched in Skyworld? I don't think Pro is clouds touched. Because you get a cloud in World 6 and you get a cloud in World 5. They only have one cloud in World... World. No, they only have one cloud in World 5. They don't have two. Booba's P-Wings were touching. Ah, oh, see, he tried for the clip. Yeah, yo. I said in World 5 is two P-Wings touch, so he's out of the he's out of the game. That's that was for I Booba, not for Proa. You might have thought they were clouds, but they were P-Wings on Booba's side. They were touching. If Pro's clouds were touching, they would be touching right now because he hasn't used any clouds since World 5, right? So maybe you're right, but they don't have four clouds, right? You get a cloud for beating World 5 and you get a cloud in World 6, which means he'd have four clouds right now. Ooh, man, Booba not getting the clips here. Is he gonna opt out of it? Yeah, he's out of there, man. That's a good idea. That- oh, up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh. Okay. Wow, that's close. All right, I, well, I just want to make sure I could be wrong about the clouds, right? I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. All right, I boob had a chance. Both of these runners at the cliffs here. All right, here we go. Mid clip. Ah, oh, he missed one. Running over the gap. Ah, oh, and he doesn't get the second one. All right, one, two. Come on, Proa. Three. Come on. Four. Ah, if he would have got a fifth try, that would have been good. Come on, Proa. Doing it with the leaf is harder, but you got this, man. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Dude, I think Proa is the best leaf clipper. All right, Nye Boob is out of there. Wow. I Booba only getting one point. He does not secure the full clear. Let's go down to the last section. World 8, 16 points. Proa in World 7 right now. He's got mid clip left. That's it. Nice. He's going to be able to flutter over and get the heck out of there. Boom, here we go. Long airship. Yeah, this airship is like World 4, but it's a bigger airship and moves faster, where World World 4 airship is smaller but moves slower. Nice, get that star. Comfortably get through this, man. You gotta haul some butt there, Pro. You wanna you gotta haul some butt and get no hands so you don't get punished for the for the under 60. Right? He's got a haul butt and get no hands. Ooh, that lack two comes right back, man. Screaming in. And just comes flying in, throwing those spinies. Alright, watch these clouds. No clouds touching, you see. Oh, but his stars are touching! And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Proa is going to be losing his two point advantage. Should have used that star first before using those clouds. But when you're on the spot, right, you maybe, uh, maybe habit, you know? And that would definitely get me trying to break the warpless habit.
right, here we go. Ooh, man, he gets up there though, but Item Abuse Island is done and iBooba is on his way out of there. iBooba does have a chance now to get Rangless. He does have a chance. Oh yeah. All right, here we go, Proa. You're gonna do seven, eight. He's gonna go for the backup hammer suit. He's gonna make sure he's safe. He oh, not gonna use a star though. He is gonna get that backup star. Uh, at two hours, if his clouds touched, it would have been in world six. Ooh, watch out. Oh my God. I don't know how he didn't die there. That was so close. Definitely grab that hammer suit for safety. Yeah, for a couple damage hits. Oh, but that's okay. He was just doing it for he was just doing it for damage, which is okay. All right, pro, you got 13 minutes, man. A sub 60. You can do this, dude. You can do this, man. No hands, right? No hands. Wrangless. Collect a couple points. Get bigger uh, career totals. Come on, man. All right, here goes PC strategy. All right, do the double grab. Very nice, very clean. Gets that, holds on to that. Nice. All right, mid clip, try it. Ah, oh, he's not gonna try it. That's a free attempt. But, hey man, that time save, man. What if he gets a 59.58? That two seconds for mid clip, right? All right, now he's gonna use the P wing. Ooh, look at that lag on Booba's side. That's a lot, a lot of lag. Couple seconds there. All right. Cloud. Oh! Guys, I know why Pro is Cloud's touch. It's because he got the cloud in 3-7. That's why. Remember I said he shouldn't have two clouds in World 6? He does because he didn't use that extra cloud that he had. So that's, um... That's actually pretty good. He might have a pretty good chance here to get under 60. We forgot about the cloud from use the cloud, got the cloud, and then he didn't use the cloud again. Wow, that's why. That's why he didn't have the traditional amount of clouds. Um, now, did I Booba get Wrangless there? We were kind of focused on that, explaining that. I don't think he got Wrangless. I think I heard, I think I heard the boomerang. Yeah, no Wrangless. I didn't think so. All right. Proa, you got 11 minutes right now, Proa. Come on, dude, you got this. World 8 with that cloud can really only take you about 8 minutes. Well, what does that tell you about your chances? They're there, man. You got the hammer suit for the fast Bowser kill. I don't want to see Proa lose these, uh, get punished. Because I want, I want him to have a nice career total. Booba is going to be the first one at the hands, though. I don't know if Proa can clutch this out. I mean, he's got 10 minutes right now. He's got 10 minutes. I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard to see. Bro, it does have hammer suit and I boob again pulled in by hand number two. He only gets pulled in by one hand and here we go. Save the animals guys. Save the animals. Peter Strats. Save the animals. I Proa had a and I had an extremely unfortunate World Three, and unfortunately, I mean the points are just way too stacked against him. I mean this is 
This is how it happens, but we want to see him finish and we want to see him get some uh, high career totals, right? They, these runners can still work on their career points by still getting as many points as they can as they try and finish their runs, right? I mean, that's also important. Not taking damage on Booba's side and he does get the no Rocky kills, but he doesn't get Wrangless, so not getting all the points. 5140. Alright, here we go. The 8-1 and the 8-2. Gonna use the star. He's not gonna be getting that inventory point, which might hurt him. I think he's I think he's still in the clear to get 40 points in the two games. Nice, very nice. He's not gonna get a fanfare, so he's in the clear for the fanfare. Meanwhile, Proa on the second half right now of the tank. He's got one more half here. All right, Hammer Suit on Ibuba's side. He's going to go for that sun kill. We were right here. Does get the sun kill, and he's on his way out of there. All right. Pro has just about finished the airship. Sorry, the tank. Tank Brigade. It's about finished. Does he get Wrangless, though? Ooh, the Hammer Brother moved backwards again. That's so unfair. That happens. You know, Ibuba had the same odds as well, right? I mean, people get lucky slash unlucky. Everyone's got the same odds when they power on the game. You worry about what you're in control of, and you just hope for the best. And that's what makes this such a good speed game. Makes it a very good points competitive speed game as well with those aspects. I really like it. You have to do a slowdown, he gets the one cycle. Does get the one cycle. Oh, he gets it, doesn't get the overkill, that's good. I'd like to see one of these runners get the overkill when it's never happened to them before with the hammer suit. And see what kind of uh, see what kind of panic they go through. I don't want anyone struggling, but I do like to see a little bit of panic. You like to see a little bit of panic here and there. Proa still could do this if he gets no hands, because he's got his cloud, right? If Proa gets no hands, he won't get punished. He'll still get some points. There are just so many cannons. If you're brand new at this game, it's so hard to keep track of all this crap, man. Crap all over the place. Boom. Oh, oh, he missed it. All right, Proa. Your turn at the hands. You get no hands, you might have a solid chance here. I don't know, though, man. Four, five and a half minutes? And with no hands? This is scary. Ooh, he gets middle hands. This is gonna be hard. Nice, making his way through very nicely. Hi, Booba. Oh, he gets through without hands, he uses his P-Wing. It looks like he's going to be free. Looks like he's going to get that save the animal point. Yeah. All right, Ibuba on Bowser's castle. Proa has also not taken damage, so clearing in 60 be pretty good. Getting the clip again on Booba's side. Is he going to autopilot that one up? Is he going to autopilot that one up? No, he's not. Is he going to Karua it? No. Nope. I think he knows how to do that clip very comfortably. All right, just like that, he's got a PCP strategy. strategies. Duck input does work, and he is out of there. Looks like he is going to be the winner, guys. He is going to be the winner. No damage. 20 lives and first place. There you go. Second place on Proa's side. Proa does get the no Rocky kills, though. So he is on the go. Finish it up. Finish it up, bud. You got four minutes. 
Proa could get the three lives, but that might cost them too much time. That might cost them too much time here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for the three lives. That's actually not a bad play. He's got, what, three and a half minutes? Ooh, man, I don't know, guys. He's got two levels with three and a half minutes. I mean, before you know it, he's gonna be on the airship. Yep, he wants all three of them. Three. There it is. Alright, let's see how he does. Get the 20 lives. That tank wastes a lot of time, right? Oh, he forgot to equip the hammer suit. Not going to be able to get the sun points. And that right there is a you hate to see it moment. That right there is a you hate to see it moment. Maybe he wanted to keep his leaf. Maybe he's avoiding the sun kill. That's the damage, man. He needed to not take damage. <gasps> and the, the flub there. He's still got two and a half minutes. Maybe equip the hammer suit. Oh, he doesn't have it. Where did it go? I thought he had it. And just like that, I knew that jump over the gap was a little too short. Gotta push it a little further. Nice, and I think that's kind of what he wanted, but he did the wall rub. Unfortunate. Throwing for content? No, Pro's not that kind of guy. Here we go. He does have his cloud, though. Nice. Dude, if he didn't die there, if he didn't die there. F and chat, pay respect, man. Both runners did a very good job. Hey man, it happens, right? It happens. But let's let him finish. Let him get his own personal W, guys. Not gonna get the sub 60. That is, that is rough, guys. That is a solid, what is that? 42 to 12. That hurts, man. But, came out, he put on a good show. He showed his skill. He proved to everyone that you don't have to be pro speedrun strats all the time to compete in this. There you go. And unfortunately, he's not going to be able to finish his run. Just like that, seven seconds. But he is probably going to beat Bowser here. Going to walk in nice and slow. And that is it. Oh, almost. Almost. Oh wait, he took damage. What? Yeah, we said yeah, he can totally finish. Ah, uh, that was to avoid coin ship, uh, Velka. That was to avoid coin ship.
Yo, take it easy, Tom. Hooray! We made it. Looks like it's going to be 42 to 12. 